Yep. <laughs> Sitting here with the uh, black brick I won. Um, my name is Joe. I'm the third YouTube winner from Subs and Paws. Thank you so much. Shout out Subs and Paws, man. Thank you so much, brother. I, I cannot wait to hear this thing. All right, guys, we are back. Yes, you tubulars! Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what are thinking about? So we're back. Um. I, I don't know if we. I don't even know if we mentioned it in another video, but somebody was asking. A lot of people are actually asking about the next giveaway. So at 9,000 subscribers, guys, that's like right around the corner here. And if you guys aren't subscribed, get subscribed. Um. We're gonna start the fourth giveaway. I'm gonna put little clips of my previous winners. Uh, Josh, sorry, you're uh, unless you want to send me a new short clip. Uh, your video was on my old computer, which is down here, and this is like my graveyard section of my electronics. Uh, so I don't have a video of you that you sent me anymore and uh, the only video I have is on YouTube which I can't uh, conjure up any video from so anyways we're gonna start the uh, we're gonna start the giveaway at 9,000 we're gonna do it until 10,000 we're gonna give the way give away that subwoofer at 10,000 and then right at 10,000 when we give away that subwoofer we're gonna start another giveaway right away oh um so Caleb uh, he's been wanting an SMD for since I guess probably since he saw mine and he saw what it was doing. Mm -hmm. um, and after searching and killing the internet, he this found is, this. this is recent, uh, where is this from? Croatia, you said? Uh, I think it's yeah. It shipped from Croatia, but I think it's somewhere in the Croatia area. Is that in Russia or I don't know. I, I'm I saw this thing. It was like, um, you guys might have heard of the company. It's Basehead Garage. Like, Woo! Yeah, yeah, Basehead Garage. Yeah, yeah. They actually make pretty cool things. Uh, they make custom bass knobs. They make um, a volt meter. They make a watt meter. Croatia. I got meter Croatia. <laughs> I tried to. I tried to pause. Um, Basehead Garage. Uh, little, little. I'm pretty sure it's a little company. Um, they get some of their stock in and it's gone right there because of how I mean I actually might I think buy it's, one for it's myself. very very reasonably priced um, it did take two weeks to come in better than I thought actually I thought it was going to take yeah, about a month yeah because he was like John it's going to take a month it says 20 to 30 days when you buy it oh my gosh so I was like oh my god but it's it, you know and I had and it was five dollar shipping but that's okay it was a, across the across of it, the world okay so Croatia is uh, Italy's right here um, the boot goes down, and right in the, I don't know what that C is there, the, uh, Adriatic Sea, at the top of the Adriatic Sea, where the top of Italy is, Croatia's there, so I'm guessing that's part of, uh, Europe, I don't think that's in Asia. No, oh, yes, so that's what I'm saying, it said Europe, somebody said Europe on a post, so that makes sense. So... So little little company, Basehead Garage. Yeah, and actually, uh, the SPL Lab mm. was made in Russia. Hmm. So it seems like some technology that edge of the world are working on a lot of car audio technology. So cool. it's exciting to see what they have next. So I'm excited to see what this does. I think we bring you today the most popular thing they have right now, which is very exciting because I was like a little kid going to buy a, a brand new PlayStation like it came out. Um, they make posts every so often saying, you know, when they'll be back in stock, uh, like available dates. And they saw uh, right before May 1st, it was May 1st that it happened, I think, um, or maybe the day before, they made an announcement on their page and somebody reposted it to the Basehead group. And they said, look at this. And they said, uh, brand new stock, like, buy today at 6 p.m. Okay, but... So I was like, oh, okay. Um, and it, it was sold out at that point. So I waited till 6 p.m. that day, got my computer, and, like, refreshed the page like crazy guy at 6 o'clock until it said add to cart. I was probably the first person to buy one uh, when they came back in stock. Ordered it, got it. 
Um, and guys, the price compared to the SMD, SMD is almost 500 bucks. This is 80 bucks. Now 90. I think it was yeah, 80. They went up I think to they 90. raised it to 90. Um, I, I'd suggest probably if you're going to buy one, I would buy one because price comparatively, and I have hundreds of people asking me where I got my SMD from. And I don't know why, you know, the Google even matter. is, it's all the same price. if you type in SMD on Google, it's going to pop up like that mm -hmm. and you're going to find it right away. Uh, Little things like this, you don't know about until you search them specifically. And this thing right here is so highly valued. If it works the way that it says that it works, we're going to we're going to do a comparison between the two. Everything exactly the same down the board. We're just going to swap devices and see what they each one reads. Yeah. So, I mean, this thing right here is worth at least double, triple the value that they're selling it at, if not half of what the SMD is worth. Mm -hmm. Two hundred and fifty dollars ish. Right. So. And I think that's always why it's out of stock. You know, they even hours later yeah. go ahead and say, "Oh, it's out of stock again." Thank you for buying. So they you know, must be. A lot. I don't know if they're making these in a small shop. That's what I'm thinking. Or producing them themselves in a garage, or how they're getting these things out. I mean, it's not much. It's this little reading device right here. I like the SMD has on, it built in. You can get these on eBay fairly cheap. Two wires coming out of the device, and I mean, you can open. I it was going to say, want, I'm yeah. do that. I was waiting for him to open it, but I, I said we're ah. going to do it on camera. So it has a little small screen here, um, about half the size of the SMD screen. Very, you guys can tell. We get the B, so it's actually the BHG Basehead Garage dash WM, which is the the watt meter. Um, so we get that built in. I think in a 3D printed case, very sturdy. Our button. Oh, there you go. The three three printed planes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we get our inputs in the back with with logos to actually be yeah, able to tell. Yeah, they have little little things there telling you Pretty that cool. corresponds to the instructions here. Yeah, I'm gonna read that of what each one does. And I think uh, these are removable. So it has the... Yeah, these are removable. Okay, which so... Which is pretty cool. So I can wire it and then plug it in. Okay. Which is pretty All cool. Right. So, yeah. The specs for the watt meter, as he I'll showed you show guys. You. So specifications, the AC volt meter... Can you see if I can just Go ahead. Uh, 0 to 200 volts RMS. The AC AM meter, AM meter. 0 to 100 watts amps RMS. Uh, the max wattage that this reads, which I think is a little, I think the SMD reads more. It only goes up to fifteen thousand watts. Fifteen thousand watts? That's pretty damn good. It is good. high, but I'm thinking the SMD goes like to twenty, almost. I wonder if it even goes to like that's pretty 50, good. Thousand thirty, and that is really good. Now these inputs on here, that's the only thing that's making me a little nervous is these little inputs. I mean, this doesn't need a lot of power. No, it, it probably takes, it takes. Can run off probably something like the SMD runs for you know like a nine volt battery or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're plugging your speaker wires, and these are your actual speaker wires that you're using for your equipment too, into these panels right here. So that's the only thing that's got me a little worried there. But I mean, speaker wire, speaker wire, and we haven't actually done any tests yet, which I think that we should do is uh, test to see if speaker wire actually makes a difference. Oh, like a 10 gauge versus 12? Like 22 gauge versus 10 gauge on the same speaker and seeing if it makes any difference So what's awesome is anything. the display is a OLED display, which OLED is like what you want to see, what you want on your TVs. So it's gonna be a very bright, beautiful display. Uh, the case is actually PT, PETG plastic, which is actually a very good like 3D material. Oh, you can see it's printed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So guys, the battery... You guys can see that on camera here. Go ahead. Uh, the wiring diagram to the back from left to right is you get your positive, which is going to be your positive, your negative, your negative, which I'm probably just going to go off of my amp. So really, I'm probably just going to add a wire coming from the positive of the amp, negative of the amp, and the remote wire of the amp to turn this on. And then we get the remote as well. And then the V is connected to the car amplifier speaker, positive and negative. Hey. Hey. And then hey. the yeah. two C inputs yeah. are for yeah. this right here. Uh, yeah. And I, that's the current transformer is what it's called. So the current transformer that goes around the... 
Yeah, you wanted to be on video, huh? Uh, yeah, we were shooting a video. You want to be on video? Tell them mommy wouldn't let you go somewhere, so you were crying. Say hi, guys. Okay, yeah. So that makes sense. Uh, and what's awesome, guys, is there's definitely some functions that come along with this. So we get we get pressing the button at the top allows you to go to the various display modes, which you get wattage, impedance, so it actually tells you impedance, uh, power factor, AC voltage, and AC amperage. So actually, I should be able to see how many amps I'm pulling off of this without having to get an amp uh, clamp meter. And then there's also peak mode. Holding the button for an extended duration activates peak mode, displaying the peak of each value. Okay. So you can actually get the peak of any of the values on the, any of the displays, I'm guessing. Um, which is almost like dyno mode on the SMD. So that's got to be exactly like, you know, what it is. The valid, I just, the, Mama. seems like an amazing deal yeah. and I'm excited to get it in. Yeah. That's so, my multimeter. I mean, it, it fits anywhere. Nothing heavy, nothing crazy, you know. Obviously, you want to make sure it's okay and you know stationary but the smd is, is a lot heavier this you could probably stick a piece of freaking like uh styrofoam yeah, little, or a connector and it just yeah. like you don't even need to actually they have screw holes but they're really not needed you could really yeah, just grab like a two-sided tape and because this this is very very light and also this even is, with the this velcro well. the little tape with the velcro something like that yeah but and then but then you get something like the smd where it's like that's pretty hefty yeah you'd have to put like four pieces of velcro on it yeah exactly <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to uh, get this thing wired up, and we'll be back with some action. It's time, time for some action. Yes, time, time for some time for some action. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're doing another test. This is a, like a 3V versus 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 of the SMD versus the BHD versus the, the old standard Ohm's Law multimeters. It's going to have to move the camera up a little bit. You can't see the SMD. Um. Okay, so yeah. guys, um, we actually have the SMB set to the volts times amps and then your power factor setting. If you guys don't know, please listen up. The way that the, the watts work is VA, so that total number, times your power factor. So as an example, Steve Mead himself gave an example. If, a, if an SPL competitor has 5,000 watts and a power factor of, uh, what was it? Uh, say, let's say an example like 50%, you're going to do 5,000 times 0. 0.5, and which is 2,500 watts. That's how that works. So we should see a really big number when we get up to certain high volumes on the SMD, but we're going to multiply that by the power power factor and see what the wattage is, which the BHG is also supposed to do itself. So um, we're going to go through this uh can you scroll through the bhg real quick and go to the third like just press it no not not the smd the oh yeah so put that back to it's a little hard guys to get this setup going it's not much space and not much wire now the bhg that came out originally um had a hundred amp uh what is it a uh i forgot what it's called the c where it was oh, to, it's a it's a transformer loop. A tra yeah, and the, the, it says it's right, right now here. if you buy it, it's a 150. But the 100 was supposed to be good up to 10,000 watts anyway, and the new one's up to good up to two, um, two 20,000 watts. So it shouldn't matter either way. So um, you're gonna have to try and put it up some more. I'll just go like that, or I'll read it. Okay, so I'm the SMB really is gonna be a little bit hard camera. to to reach but we're gonna I can't move anything else I'm wire restricted here yeah so I, if anything I'll move the camera and I'll, I'll play the tone a couple of different times yeah so we're gonna do a 40 hertz test that's negative 5 dB which is exactly what you're supposed to test on and we're gonna see what everything says so if you guys look below this is the amp amperage reader this is the multi -meter. This clamp is meter volts. you want to put it on AC amps yes and on your uh, your regular multimeter with your prongs here, your test leads, you want to put it on AC volts. And that's the, the little squiggly line and the little squiggly line. You don't want the straight line. That's DC. The leads from the multimeter, this one, goes into the speaker output. Plus and minus. 
and this on the plus wire all you do is put the plus positive of the speaker wire through the, the clamp. through the clamp and that's good this one right here wires up itself I think they give instructions with it and the SMD is pretty much like both of these put together right all in one so unit. guys these two numbers you're gonna multiply are gonna be what's called um, VA also known at uh, pretty much the volts times amps so it's not gonna be exactly what your power is getting but that's why I have the SMD set to VA because everything should be matching here. It's now, a good... What I wanted to see real quick was the settings. So we get wattage on the BHG, voltage. Okay, so we actually have the, this. Okay, so they're, the SMD and the BHG are set to the same thing. Apparent power and power factor. Because that is going to show if these are both reading power correctly no matter what. So the top number is going to read your VA, which is going to be what these two are multiplying. And then the power factor is what you're going to times that top number by it to get your watts. So, very simple. I'm going to have my calculator out. Um, we want to put this test to good use, kind of get everything out. Guys, if you haven't checked out the last video we did, a good 8-minute video in my car. Um, we did not have the BHD plugged in. That was our fault. Um, I didn't really want to plug it back in. We were actually very, just showing the results from the SMD to the We just wanted to show you guys that we had the thing available in hand. Um, but now and we did a prior test before that anyways. We're gonna get started. Hopefully something no, nothing really falls We're gonna start low All right. So guys starting off the BHG is showing 180 and then the power factor of 0.96 so if you take 180 times I don't even know how you do that 0.096 It's not really a number for that's almost 100 right there whatever that is so you know, at 100 so right here. that's 100 percent would be, I think it's it's doing that's, it's doing that's, its it's power. doing 175, 178, yeah. 80 watts. So there's nothing to do for math there. So as we go up, we should notice um, some different. Still not changing. This one's 96 and this one's 100. So we're getting same numbers for VA though. So we're getting 390, 390, which is very good. If we look down here, we're getting 28 times four. Times we'll say it's four. five. So 28 times 5. And 28 times 5 is going to come out to about 140. Which... That doesn't make any sense. 28 times 5? No, it doesn't. Is this in here? Ah. Oh, the amperage. There we go. So 28 times 15. Or like it. 400. 420. So we're right around there in the same ballpark. I actually uh, rounded it up, so that should be 14.2, not 15. So we're gonna go up again. We're gonna go one more. So this is almost 20, and that's 40. And that's gonna be around that 800 watts. So 20 times 40 is 800, and that's about what we're getting on the two meters here. Now this one's still saying our 96 power factor. This one's up at 100. This one's reading 740. And this one's reading 730. Now for a second, I will, we want to go, this is like, we have one more volume, which is going to really go over the top. With this part of the video, so let's do that really quick. Do you want to take the camera off? Take the camera off and go on those two. So he's going to hold the camera at the other two meters. So you guys can see. All right, here we go. So that was reading a lot more, saying 1,400 watts right now. That one is too. This one's saying 1,400 watts also. What the heck? Whoa. We'll be back. All right, guys. So welcome back. Uh, let me adjust this again a little bit. Let's see if that fixes it. Perfect. All right. So we got the sundown. Uh, X10, V3, uh, D2, wired to 1 ohm, uh, runs just about 2 ohms, so I have it on the Stetsam EX3000 2 ohm amplifier, 2 ohm version, black edition, um, oops, there goes my audio device, likes to fall, I'm going to put it up here so it's not, so uh, we have the base head garage, uh, watt meter, and the SMD, now what we've found is that it's fairly, the base head garage uh, watt meter is fairly accurate 
as long as you're not going over the 100 amp mark, which is you know roughly 1,000 to 1,200 watts, once it goes over that, that's where it seems like it's not staying accurate. So uh, I have the SMD here. We're gonna uh, test the two together and see how they do. And hopefully we come up with some numbers that are fairly accurate to each other. I hope you can see that there. I don't know if it's visible on the screen or if I'm getting glare. Ashton! No. You want to give me a hand? Shop. All right. So I'm going to have my son give me a hand and just help me. This way he can hold them. So that way you guys can see the difference. And I'm going to go over the 1,000 watt mark. Hopefully we'll get up into the 1,500 range. And that way you can see. Also another thing I've noticed is on bursts, that's another point where it has problems keeping up with the bursts from several different bursts of the amplifier. So see, just like that, you're going to hold them like this. Ah. Okay. Hopefully so we can see on the... That looks like it's about good right there. So see how they're angled like that? Kind of. Okay, so you're going to go where I'm standing. Just like that. I don't know, it's like glaring. That looks good. Oh. Just keep them about right there. All right. And I'll call out the numbers just in case as they're coming through. I'll alternate between the SMD and the watt meter. All right, so here we go. And I think I have it at a fairly uh, decent place for power wise. SMD is not even reading right at the moment. Hold on. Really? Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta plug it in. Oh. Hold on. I gotta turn that off. Okay. Yeah, I gotta plug these in. The leads in. So you didn't have to plug okay, in. yeah, see, this is all the technical difficulties I have all the time. I always do something or another. Okay, hold on. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back. I got my son helping me out again here. I got you. Yeah, I got you. So we're going both on real-time power. Get them lined up there. You can get them a little closer. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you can see them on the screen. All right, and I think we're ready to go. And like I said, I'm going to alternate between the two and read off one at a time. And I just seen uh, the SMD. I wasn't paying attention to the watt meter, but it did say like 14, 1500 watts. So I'm guessing that's what it's going to keep hitting at about on bursts. There's 142. I don't know what the watt meter said. So 1150. See what the watt meter is rating up to. 1100 ish. You guys can pause your screen during the video and see what they're reading up to. But like I said, once it goes over 1000 watts, that's where it starts having trouble. Just seen this go to 3200 watts. That one's not reading anywhere close to that. 3480, this one right here. That one's not reading anywhere close to that. So then again, it could have to do with the transformer on the watt meter. We're getting 
200 watts on the SMD. watts so I think that I think we've just done our test and proven you know our, our solid facts what we're getting here all right guys so don't forget check out my uh, giveaway for the scar audio EVL 12 if you're not a subscriber That's all you got to do to be involved in the giveaway. Be a subscriber. Comment on the video. I'm going to have a short coming out. You can comment on that video also. That will get you another entry chance. And then we're going to have a live video coming your way. And that will be our last entry. And we're going to pull one of the people from that live will be a winner. It, or a finalist. There's going to be three finalists. One from each video, including the live. And this time around... First place is going to get the SCAR Audio EVL 12. Second place is going to get a sticker and or a t-shirt and or one of the, you know, I'm going to figure out something. And third place is also going to get a sticker or something. All right, guys, so we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Peace.